multimedia is a complex combination of elements. Motion graphics, animated type, 3D generated elements, video, sound combined all together and then finally distributed via some sort of interactive mechanism. In the video and 3D track of multimedia, there's a range of technologies investigated and used. 3D Studio Max for generation of 3D elements and animating those elements, Adobe After Effects, and Autodesk's Combustion. Both of those are compositing applications and animating applications. They both assemble and generate their own original media. The skill sets that you will learn in the video and 3D track are animating how to animate type, how to animate 3D elements, how to take those elements and have them interact with each other to generate some kind of emotional response from the audience. Another skill set is videography and cinematography. Those are camera-based skill sets and in the video and 3D track we investigate those heavily as the camera becomes part of our toolbox for content creation. Multimedia is basically elements of motion changing over time. People appreciate it when information isn't just presented as text, but it's accompanied by diagrams, photographs, other kinds of imagery, also moving imagery, animation. On the interactive side, we're running an array of software uh, like Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Illustrator, Flash, and when you get into the more advanced level classes, we're running things like JavaScript. Then we take it to the next level and we start doing things in the server environment, which would be PHP. An excellent example of that would be something like a Facebook or a MySpace or CNN.com or ESPN, where there's lots of data that's being pulled into um, a website solution. We also study uh, ActionScript as well as XML. ActionScript allows us to create engaging user experiences. And these experiences are developed through animation, through code, through sound, through video, and we can pull all of those things together in uh, one sort of tool set. Just about everywhere you go these days, you will encounter some kind of an electronic interface asking you or allowing you to make choices. And touch screens, kiosks that are installed at businesses or uh, public facilities like airports, um, all of these need careful thought and design in order to make them appealing and usable. So the web and interactive side really has lots of different avenues. It's not just on your desktop as a website anymore. It's portable into lots of different devices. Our goal in the web and interactive track is to prepare you for a web design position, potentially a web developer position. At the very least, you'll be able to function on a modern web development team, working with others and understanding what their role is and how your part of the project is going to interact with theirs.